know, our, our biggest obstacle to date has been supply of materials. Um, we are fortunate enough to be working with representatives out of Task Force Innovation in Charleston and logistics representatives here in Task Force Sustainment at the 167th Airlift Wing and Shepherd University professors, um, along with local businesses who have been kind enough to cut us, you know, dis lar very large discounts. So we were asked to develop two prototypes to be tested at West Virginia University, gathered the list of materials immediately procured the materials overnight so that we could quickly produce two prototypes and work with sustainment and our logistics folks to deliver them immediately to West Virginia University for testing. So they tested our mask and they said that ours was by far the most comfortable, most durable, and longest wearable mask of any that they had seen. That we received a score of 100 and that that is very hard to come by. And so they praised the Shepherd design team and our production team for the work that we did. We are very fortunate to have an amazing team, resourceful, very hardworking, genuinely care about what they're doing. I cannot thank them enough and I wouldn't rather make these masks with anyone else. Our end user will be medical support staff in hospitals or medical facilities across the state of West Virginia. So the doctors and the nurses will be wearing medical grade quality because they will be interacting directly with patients. Uh, however, there are also medical support staff that are in those hospitals, but they'd also like to protect as well. Um, with the shortage of N95 masks, the best way that they can do that is to have us design close to N95 quality products to deliver to those staff.